Hi, what I'm doing is just making a very basic video on using Explorer, the GUI interface in Windows. Um, I'm making this with my students in mind and I just wanted to point out a few details in the common management of your interface. As you can see here, I have a few icons building up on my uh, on my desktop. And part of the A plus exam will ask you very general questions about the interface and I wanted to make you aware of a few things just very quickly while I do common tasks. If you open a folder, the immediate option that the folder defaults to is just a listing of what's known as general items. Now I'm doing a lot of photo and uh, media work now so it is very very easy for me to collect, manage and just build up piles of photos. Here's a couple of movies, this is a text file and I'm just constantly constantly writing stuff. So you may be asking yourself well if I've got tons of pictures in here how do I make it look like pictures? Well what you do is you very simply go down to the properties of this go to customize and here under customize you see general items you can switch it to pictures apply it and everything turns into pictorial icons so that you can see what you are working with now as you notice <coughs> Right here's a video. This is an MP4 uh, video file. Garbage in the Hall. It's just a cute little song that Atlanta Miles uh, sang very, very quickly. If I change this over to videos type of a folder, you see that the pictures are still displayed. Take note also that once it's changed to this format, you can look at directories and you get just sort of a peek at their contents, like this one's music articles, and I've got photos on that desktop too. I get a look at a few, gives a hint of what's in there. Let's go back to properties and customize. I'm going to switch this back to pictures and apply. Now, I want to show you something else here. Here's a folder, a subfolder that I started called Legacy Hardware. Let's suppose, for argument's sake, I go back to a general folder. Customize, general items, OK. Alright, take a look at the headings. When you've got general items here and you have columns of information, in this case, let's go to properties, customize, let's say it's documents apply. You still have lists of columns. It shows the icons for JPEG, MP4, and text files. Let's go to Music, Apply. With music, you lose all those titles, or I mean the, um, the columns. Go to General Items, 
look at the items. Got all these columns, and yet there's a drop down arrow here. How do you use that? Suppose you have an absolutely huge folder and you need help sorting things. You do it by number. You can do it by selecting a portion of the alphabet. So just to help you break down your search. You can do it by date modified. There's nothing on the third because I just made this folder. Actually, I made it on the fourth. Okay. So I'm not selecting a date range now. You can select it by type. Suppose you just wanted to look at JPEG photos. Suppose I wanted to see the MP4s. Now the nice thing about this feature is once you go out of the folder, that setting doesn't remain. You go back into the folder and it lists everything again. You have to re-search by selecting its temporary. This is a temporarily selected condition and see when you've selected a condition you'll find a check mark here. You can sort it by size. Let's say I'm looking for the very tiny ones. This is to help you organize things and I'll demonstrate exactly why. Um, something else to a matter of order. Numbers are categorized first. Let's say I'm working on my legacy hardware. I want to rename it so that it's at the top of the list. So I put a zero in the front, boom, and this is now at the top of the list. Just if I'm working with this all the time, or you might numerically organize your um, folders. And again, you can separate them by like numbers, if necessary, if you've got a huge quantity of items. So anyway, now I do a search. I know I've got a file that belong that's in here that belongs in here. I've got, say, an absolutely astronomical number of files, so I want to find the ones that are empty, because it might be mixed in by name anywhere in a very, very long list. Right-click, I'm going to cut it, then I get rid of that uh, selection category, go back to the general list, right, and I paste it in. Now if I go in here, the Dell Optiplex uh, file is in there, except for one thing. All of these previously existing uh, files belong to another article that I wrote. So I'm going to right click here, create a new folder for the nine four five G M motherboard and then I drag all this other stuff in there you can you left click out here and drag and highlight all these files and it says see here where it points out you've got four items and you put it on top of that folder and you see the folder highlight drops it in this belongs in there also this belongs in there also and I'm going to make another folder for the Dell Optiplex. That other one was just a, uh, a clone machine, so it doesn't have a name. The name is the motherboard, an Intel motherboard. In this case, it's a Dell Optiplex 745. So, then back up. And for now, Let's see, I believe that I actually want this to show pictures because I'm doing a lot of photo work. Whoops. I've got to change this to pictures because that's what I want to be able to find quickly. Actually, what I'm going to do, what I need to do, too, I just realized the whole reason I started doing this is I've got to make a, um, make a new folder yet.
for the XPC cube I'm working with right now. And I'm going to drag that there and this there. See those are in there? Good. And I actually do want to show you just one more thing. Um, let's go back to properties. Customize. Go to general items. So apply. Okay. Notice I've got a menu here now. Well, what I did to get the menu was go under organize, layout. You can select or unselect the menu bar. Now, if you go under view, you, what we're showing here right now are the details. Suppose I just um, had no idea what name. I kind of I knew I would recognize a name, and I just wanted to see as many file names as possible. I would just make a list. What that does is it gets rid of all of the details, and you've just got the file names in front of you. So let's go back up here again to view, not under tools. Let's look at view, and again, details gives you the columns that you can select, and then do your sub selections on the view. Um, let's go to content. Content lists them yet another way with a small icon on the left to give you a preview. View as tiles. It's kind of like the original uh, selection of a picture folder. Gives you a preview. To view. Go to extra large icons. And they are indeed extra large. That's under the menu view option. Large icons, which are of that size. and medium icons and let's go back to details actually let's go back, yeah, yeah, that's good um, I encourage you to just play around with this a little bit and take a look but you've got to be familiar with these things very often an end user will call you totally perplexed about why something looks the way it does or all of a sudden files disappear and she just doesn't realize that she may be clicked on a selection option. Like you'll say to her, um, look at the column headings. Do you see a check mark at, at the top of your column? Click on that check mark and uncheck the box. All your files will be back miraculously. Little things like that make a huge difference. So begin to play with the interface and familiarize yourself.